Even great men fall when the power of Elix is taken from them. Zardom, once trusted advisor to the first Alexander. And now here you are, out of Zaykor, separated from the Elix that gave you your powers. I spent many weeks in fever, haunted by visions as the Elix that had sustained me slowly drained away. But in the end, I have been able to find a way to live with it. Despite the withdrawal, Jax, I am all that I was. But you, Commander, your appearance tells me it's not going well for you. Has the transition to emotion, to free thinking, unsettled the great Commander Jax? Don't worry about me. I can handle this. Then tell me about your situation. I don't have any reason to trust you. We are both renegades now, cast out and hunted by our own people. We need to trust each other. Perhaps. My raider was shot down. Calix declared that I had failed my mission for the directive and so must be executed. But I still live, and I am searching for the truth of what happened to me. I hope you can help me discover what that truth is. You want my help with that? And what exactly is it that you think I can do? I need weapons and a way to improve my fighting strength. Elix's withdrawal has made both of us weak. You will need to spend your time and your strength wisely. Judicator Ulbricht is looking for an experienced field commander to lead his troops against the Alps in Ignadon. Then you must find someone from among the free peoples. The clerics will never follow an Alb. Why were you exiled? You were an Alexeter, the highest rank and honor amongst our people, and yet you left Zaykor. Why? Tarek, the first Alexator, is following a course with the other Alexators that I cannot. His mind is clouded. He cannot see the bigger picture clearly anymore. And what is the bigger picture? You have spent enough time away from Zaykor. You must see the directive with different eyes now. But I put myself into exile so that I wouldn't have to discuss such things. Maybe one day the time to speak will come, but that is not today. I have found my place out here, and I will keep my peace. You cooperate with the free people? With some. They judge you for your deeds as an Alexator. They fear you? Yes. As I said, it was difficult at the beginning. There were some who recognized me. But I have kept my identity from most. I want to live in peace here. Help me reach the Ice Palace. You know unauthorized access to the palace is impossible. Without the correct codes, you won't get past the first defensive wall. The automated defenses will kill you before you get close. Then I will give you the access codes. From whom? Any Alb who identifies you as a renegade will attack you immediately. How will you get the access codes without fighting our own people? I will have to find another way to get the codes. That should be the last of your worries. You have other things to achieve first. However, the fact remains that you will need to lure soldiers from their positions in Zaykor. Soldiers who are sent into the lands of the free people rarely carry the codes to the inner areas of the Ice Palace. But then you know that better than I do, Commander. The security of the Ice Palace matters greatly to the Albs. What would make the troops leave Zaykor? The directive. The great plan and the highest goal of all Albs. Elix must continue to be extracted. They will only leave their fortifications in great numbers if something interferes with the directive. And the only way I can think of to stop the flow of Elix into the Ice Palace is to destroy or deactivate the converters. That makes sense. The converters are heavily guarded. I would expect so. But the influence of the Albs is not as strong as it once was in the lands of the Free People. Losses have been high, and the Free People have become more organized, at least within their factions. Some converters have maintenance issues, or have been shut down, like the one in Edan. But none of that is helpful as long as enough Elix is still reaching the Ice Palace. 
Tell me more about your past at the Ice Palace. I already told you. I have left that past behind me. You can't deceive me. You want to take power in the Ice Palace. What makes you believe that? The Separatist leader Sestak told me. So what is it that you want? Are you planning war against the hybrid? And you believe Sestak? He didn't give me a reason to doubt his words. I trust him. And how am I supposed to wage war? One alb against Zaykor? All I would gain is my own death. I have my new life here. That is what matters now. It's obvious that you are hiding something. You are more powerful than you appear. You speak of Elix withdrawal and the doubt that plagues you. But none of that fits your appearance, your confidence, or your character. So drop the lie. We both know the truth, Zardom. You didn't stop consuming Elix when you left Zaykor. You found yourself a source somewhere, and you have kept your strength. You can still cast magic. I'm not the one pretending to be something I'm not, Commander. What are you really doing out here, Zardom? And what is it that you want, Jax? We all must find our own path as this world changes. If you want war, then where is your army? You were revered in the Ice Palace. How many Albs still follow you? None. My soldiers stayed in Zaykor. Such is the power of Elix. Such is the power of the hybrid. It takes those with will to see the truth. But I'm not without power. I do have a force that is loyal to me. I have the strength to return to Zaykor, to strike at the hybrid. If it isn't in Zaykor, then where are these soldiers? I have told you my aims. I have told you that I have the resources to achieve them. For now, I will concentrate on building resources here in the lands of the free people. If you will play your part in the struggle that is to come, then I will tell you this. There is a camp in the mountains between Idan, Abessa, and Tavar. The people there are independent and fight for their own cause. They are a force waiting for a leader. You should seek them out. Perhaps there you can find what I have, a base of operations. Perhaps then you will see what I mean more clearly. What if the Alexators and Zaykor learn of your plans? Sooner or later, the Alexators track down every Alb outcast. The question is whether or not we can survive until we are strong enough to be able to defend ourselves. Do you think you have the strength to fight an Alexator? No, not at present. And you should know that an Alexator has been seen near the domed city. I think he has picked up your tracks. How do you know that? You've hardly been discreet. But he only has suspicions that you survived. He has no proof for now. I would suggest you take care of him before he learns you really are alive. If the Alexators were to discover that you live, then they would concentrate their powers against you. Are you allied with the Free People? Our cause in defeating the hybrid matches theirs. But I will do nothing to endanger the future of the Albs. Each of the factions has their own motives which could prove dangerous to our people. I heard that the Duke of Tavar is constructing a bomb that is so destructive it could destroy a city. What we don't know is his target, or how an outlaw has put together the technology capable of this. How do you plan to attack Zaykor? The only thing that would drive the hybrid soldiers from the Ice Palace is to stop the flow of Elix. The converter in Northern Abessa is strategically important. If we could shut it down, that would show the Albs the limits of the hybrid's power. It would give us a chance to persuade others of our cause. So, will you admit that you have kept the powers Elix gives you? If you think I can acquire enough Elix to maintain my old strength, you are mistaken. Yes, I continue to consume Elix, pure Elix. But I have only enough to reduce the impact of withdrawal. If you are looking for magic outside Zaykor, then you will have to look to the Berserkers of Edan. 
Is Berserker magic as strong as the Alps magic? Some of them are very effective. Their mana has allowed the magic of Idan to evolve a lot of power. I heard of a mage in the domed city with the power to fight an Alexator. And as a berserker living beyond the borders of Idan, she might have a more open ear than those living under berserker law every day. You claim you are doing this for the Alms, but then you're prepared to kill them for your own cause? It is a sacrifice that is painful to all. But the hybrid has blinded many of our brothers. There is no way to free all Alms. But with the blood of those who serve the hybrid, those lives will save others. But you will need to decide who you will back soon. The hybrid has sent a force of combat mechs and soldiers to advance inland into northern Abessa. This force must be stopped. Otherwise, they will tip the balance of power and Abessa in favor of the hybrid. Now you know my thoughts. And it is time for you to tell me your plans. What is it that you want? I want the person who got me into this situation. I want Kallax. For what? Revenge? Your brother doesn't want anything to do with you. He sees you as a traitor. He will kill you the first chance he gets. He's my brother. We fought side by side our whole lives. He has to listen to me. And how will you get close enough to speak to him? He is protected by a whole unit of soldiers in combat mechs. I will find a way. Well, maybe I can help you, Jax. Support me in my cause, and I will make sure that you reach Kallax. You think you can do that? Yes. And you know I am your best option. I recommend that you take my offer. You will have my support, but you will have to deliver Kallax. Then help me achieve the things I need to turn the balance of power back in our favor. Help me shut down those converters and make the preparations you need to. Do that, and I will tell you how you can lure Kallax to you. For my part, I will order my forces to infiltrate Zekor. I want a better idea of what is happening in the Ice Palace and the readiness of its defense systems. I will see you back here once you have completed your tasks. So you do want to challenge the hybrid? Challenge? You say that as if it's unthinkable for an Alm. your life in thrall to that machine, but the Albs existed before the hybrid took control. When the Albs searched for an identity, it was the hybrid that gave it to them. He gave us all worth through war. Don't pretend you want peace, Zardom. That I won't believe. The hybrid's last orders to you were to kill Thorold the Pilgrim, leader of the Berserkers, yes? But did he tell you why he ordered that? And who should rule the Alps? You? It seems many in Zekar are beginning to question the hybrid's rule. But none have given me answers. None have said what the hybrid's plan is, or how they think they can better it. What is it we've fought for, Zardom? Don't you at least want to know that? While first Alexator Tarek follows blindly, I want answers. But I tell you, the hybrid won't give them to you. He only wants power for himself, and it will be the ruin of our people. This is just the speculation of an outcast, of a frustrated old man. 
You know the directive requires all Elix must be delivered to the hybrid. He says he must reach the peak of evolution perfection to secure the future of our people. But what will be left of our world at the end of this war for Elix? All Elix means exactly that, all the Elix on Magellan. But do you think that the hybrid will ever be satisfied? What will happen when it has consumed all the Elix on Magellan? What then, Jax? So you think the hybrid is lying? That it has a different goal for the directive? I don't question his goal. I question our place in it. Do you believe that when the hybrid evolves, the Albs will serve at his side? After it has kept the truth and power for so long that its drive for Elix will just stop? No, Jax. After we have exploited the lands of the free people, the hybrid will only have one source of Elix left. Us. The first Alexator Terek is too blinded by the hybrid's promises to see that. But I know. I know that once he is done with the rest of this world, the hybrid will extract the remaining Elix from us. He will feed his evolution. I have taken command of Origin. Then you can see the value of my advice. That place makes an excellent base for you, doesn't it? The free people are strong when they are well led. And now you have won that group over, perhaps others will follow. Good. But I get the feeling you have more to tell me. I have recruited a powerful mage from amongst the Berserkers. Her name is Kaya. Good. And were you able to win her over to our cause? The Berserker Mage Kaya will help us. We will need to call upon you when we face the Alexators. Good. Was there anything else to report? The Converter in Northern Abessa has been deactivated. Well, that was faster than I expected. No doubt the Ice Palace will be considering their response. Good. Do you have anything else to tell me? The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. He developed it with a cleric prisoner the aim of attacking the Horde in Ignodon. Developed? Does that mean the danger is now gone? Yes. Good. Then we have one less threat to worry about. You have made progress, but there are still things to be done. I will be here waiting for you once you have completed the tasks.
Huh. <laughs> 